Today we take Kelsey through a full body workout. Kelsey's been lifting for how many years? Years. Many years. Many years. And we're going to be doing full body workout. We're going to be alternating upper body, lower body, and then we're going to be finishing with some core stuff. So we're never taking long breaks. We're letting the upper body rest while we're doing lower body. We're letting the lower body rest when we're doing upper body. How are you feeling? Great. Ready Great. to rock. All right. Let's do it. So first up, we're going to be doing split squats here. So I'm going to have Kelsey hold the kettlebell upside down like this. Put her back leg back here and we're going to be doing eight reps. Slow and controlled. Slight pause at the bottom. All right. Eight reps on each side. Works balance too. Get our switch. Uh, single leg squat pad too. Is it comfortable? <laughs> it is. I reviewed that on my channel. Titan, Fit Titan Fitness single leg squat stand. Fancy. Five, that was five, right? I thought that was seven. Oh, sure. All right. Eight. <laughs> All right. So next up, we're gonna do kettlebell alternating press. I've just taught her how to clean double kettlebells, so she's not real proficient at it. But we're gonna do a set of. 16 alternating presses, eight on each arm. So go ahead. I'll count for you too. Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Getting tired. Thirteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Two more. 16. Good. So next up, we're going to do pull-ups. Um, she can do probably five pull-ups max, right? So we're going to do four. We're not going to push her 100%, and then we're going to jump over to some kettlebell pullovers. So these are all hitting the lats and all the pulling musculature. So go ahead with your pull-ups. And she's going to come over to the soft plyo box makeshift bench and she's going to do eight kettlebell pullovers. Here on my counter. One. So this is a great exercise if you guys can't do pull-ups yet to still work on the lats. Seven, a little bit farther down. Oh, yeah. Eight. Good. So we're going to go to another lower body exercise. This one's going to hit the hamstrings. So the hamstrings primarily flex the knee and they help the glutes extend the hip. So this one's more focused on knee flexion. So she's going to grab onto the rings. She's going to walk out and you have socks on. I'm going to have to hold your feet. I got it. You got it? All right. I think so. Maybe. So lift your body off the ground, yep, straight line, and then pull with oh, your yeah. hamstrings. Good. We're going to do eight of these also. Good, really control it on the way down. Four. Five. Six, two more. So next up we're going to do push-ups, she's going to get in her push-up position and I'm going to explain a little bit about push-ups. So the reason I like push-ups better than say like a chest, pe chest press on a bench is that her scapulas are free to move while she's doing push-ups. So on your push-ups, I want you to go 
all the way down, and then when you come up, give it a little bit extra and engage your straightest anterior, okay? So we're gonna do 15 push-ups. Good, just gonna keep your body straight. No sagging at the hips or the low back. Seven. the lower body we're going to be doing a kettlebell swing primarily for the glutes so uh, since Kelsey is advanced I'm going to take it up a notch a little bit with her we're going to have her on the on the ascent of the kettlebell swing she's going to step over to the other side I did that wrong she's going to step over to the other side and then step back so she's going to be moving two steps to the side and then two steps back on every swing and we are going to do 16 because we got to do an even number you're counting. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to help her this last few. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. Good. All right, back to upper body. We're going to be doing renegade rows. So she's going to come into a push up position again. One hand on the balance beam here. Go ahead. Face this way. Yeah. Okay, put your feet a little bit wider. And she's going to do eight reps on this side. She's really trying to squeeze her shoulder blades together at the top here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then right into the other side. So next up, I'm going to have her do glute raises with an internal and external rotation. So she's going to have her hands on the pads here of the GHD. She's going to lift one leg up, come up into a hip airplane as high as she can, and then she's going to internally rotate, externally rotate, and come back down. All right, so we're gonna do five on each side. So lean forward. All lean right. forward more. Lean more. Forward. Yep, more trunk flexion. There you go. Good. Right there. Okay. So lift up as high as you can. Higher. Good. Yep. Now internally rotate. Without without dropping. Internally rotate. Externally rotate. Farther. Farther. Okay. Come back down. That's one. Again, higher. <laughs> Internally rotate. Externally rotate. Good. Come down. Two. Internal. External. Three. Good. High, high. <laughs> Good. Internal. External, good, four, one more, good, other side, you feel a little burning in this well, side yeah. there, yeah, all right, <laughs> no, higher, <laughs> internal, external, good, one, Internal, external, 
to internal, external, three, going lower down when you're twisting, internal, external, four, last one, internal, external, five, good. All right, now we're switching to some core stuff. So we're gonna do dead bugs first. She's gonna lift her legs and her arms. She's gonna squeeze her abs to, to flatten this curve in her lower back. And then she's gonna drop one arm and then the opposite leg while maintaining this curve, this lack of curve, I should say. Two, we're gonna do 16 total, so eight each side. Three, four. Both hands on the knee. I know. Five, don't let them. Six, seven, keeping this tight here. Good, I can't reach my fingers under there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, my knees are creaking. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, two more. Keep it tight. Good. Fifteen. 16. All right. All right. Next up, we're going to hit the adductors or the groin muscles. These are uh, often undertrained in people. So what she's going to do, we, we rigged up in this band here. So she's going to use this band as leverage. She's going to pull her upper leg down. And then once she gets to about where she can't pull down anymore, she's going to lift her bottom leg to meet it. And then come down, lift up. So she, she should be Aside from her arm and her elbow, she should be lifting her hips off the ground and making her adductor here support her entire body weight. Two. Three. Good. Four. What do you think so far? I feel it. Five. That's good. Six. All right, two more. Seven. Last one. Hold it for a couple seconds. Good. All right. For keeping this video short, we're not going to show you the other leg, but I assure you she's going to do it. Next up, we're going to do some oblique stuff. So she's going to come over here, go into a lunge position. So. Let's start with this leg out. Okay. Thoughts are slipping, that's all right. Move this way a little bit. You're gonna grab, okay, good. Grab right here. So, but what you're gonna do, yeah, you're gonna lean into this a little bit. Lean, lean, more and more, <laughs> good. Then you're gonna pull with your oblique, initiate with your oblique, pull your trunk straight up over here, and then rotate, press. Good. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. So try to push this arm, try to keep this arm straight when you're pushing out. There, make it harder. <laughs> Push up, yep. Five, six, good. Seven. The whole point of this is to move slow and control, twist, resist, pause, resist the twist back. Good. All right, now let's do the other side. So face me, opposite leg forward. Good. Can't move this one with this way a little bit. So again, lean into it a little bit. Okay, come back and then push and rotate. More rotation through the trunk. There you go. Good. One. Two. Three. More time. Four. There you go. And two more. 
seven, eight. Last one. Pause. Pause right here at the end. <laughs> Good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slow. Relax. Okay. Come back. Good. Ooh. All right. So for this next one, back extension. She's gonna go into the glute hand developer here. And there you go. She's gonna lean back. We're gonna put this stability ball right there. Tuck it in. Good. And now kind of lean over it. Stay. All the way. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Good. Lean farther. Okay. You want this ball to come a little bit farther up here. Good. All right. So right there. Perfect. Feet feel pretty locked in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're just draping over right now, which is good. That's where you want to start. And then you want to lead with your head and eventually extend your spine up straight. All the way up? All the way up. One. Good. Come down slow. Good. We're going to do eight of these also. We're going to keep it simple. She doesn't know how to count very well. So actually on the counter, right? <laughs> Two. Good. Keep it slow and controlled. I want to think of your entire spine moving as one unit. So you start at one end and you slowly start curling it up the top. And you feel your glutes and, and hamstrings. And you feel your work. glutes and hamstrings, absolutely. Five. Probably. Maybe that was seven. I don't know. We're going to say five. Six. Two more. And I suck it. Seven, last one. So this is working your entire posterior chain, right? Mm -hmm. Not just your back. Last one, eight. Good, pause here for a second. And lower as slow as you can on this last one. I'm not used to being this high up. <laughs> Good, now at the bottom, fully relax. Good, nice it was stretch. lengthening everything. Take two deep breaths in and out as as deep as you can, and as out as hard as you can. Good. All right, so we just finished round one. We're gonna do run one more round off camera because I don't wanna bore you guys to death. I think you guys pretty much get the idea of this. But this is a great uh, workout for any of your bikini competitors. I definitely train a lot of bikini competitors, so it's a great workout. Just kidding, I don't train any bikini competitors. But <laughs> Kelsey was the 93X girl of the year, and she was a semi-finalist in the Maxim Girl Next Door, or whatever <laughs> it was, yeah, so. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, what do you think? That was great. Good Thank workout, you. yeah, mm -hmm. all right. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Check out Kelsey's channel, Kelsey Bowmaster. I'll leave a link in the description for that, and she is doing workout videos also.